Hey, what's up guys? I am Joe from Workbench, and this week we're going to talk about glitch text, now 50% glitchier. So we're going to be making something like this. And what's different about this is how things suddenly move back in place as it ends. Like a lot of our glitch-based tutorials, this uses a displacement map. So let's check out how those are built. Alright, so we're using two, and the first one here, we have a JS classic layer, and that was built using JS placement. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And it's covered up with a gray layer. If we turn this off, you can see that. We have CC image wipe on that, and our gradient is pointing to a JS velvet layer, which looks like this. Keep in mind that CC image wipe will basically fit the image to the composition. So if you want to change the scale of this thing, you're going to need to pre-comp it. So let me turn that off. I made experiments with a couple of different layers. So to get the look that you're going to look for, you're going to have to mess around with this. Also keep in mind that a full gradient from black to white will displace in two different directions. So if you only want to push things one way, you need to do from black to medium gray or from medium gray to white. Our second mat is set up the same way. And in this one, we're using a displacement map that I made back in tutorial 93. So let's scan displacement. The link to that is also below. And that's being covered over with the JS classic layer that we're using in the previous one. Since with a displacement map, middle gray doesn't move, adding this middle gray over top of everything means that as we fade these in, these values are going to change toward that middle gray, which means they'll go back to their original position. So as all of this animates in, everything's going to go back to where it was. And so that's what happens in our main comp. The rest of it's kind of combining a couple of different things that are kind of interesting. So for our text layers, we have a mask up here, and we have a text animator that initially pushes our text up into that. So this animator moves our text up and scales it vertically down to 74% of what it was. And then we start to move out of there. But what's interesting about this mask is that instead of just having the displacement on the whole thing, we're actually using the mask down here as a compositing mask for another displacement effect. So the first one overall shifts everything vertically, and then everything that's in this box gets shifted over horizontally. So it gives us kind of two different movements on here that are kind of interesting. If you have a little more time to animate this, you can actually make sure that this part of the displacement resolves a little bit first so that everything moves over a little bit and then everything pushes down and resolves down here. That's up to you and how you mess with that. The same thing happens to this text, except for this one comes up from the bottom instead. And then overall in the entire background, we have a little bit of movement too. So here I have two different parts of the background. This one doesn't move at all. And then this upper one is affected by displacement as well. It only moves 10 pixels though, but that gives it just enough to kind of shift a little bit and kind of make the background kind of cool. One other thing that I noticed that was kind of interesting is that I have this slit scan mat in here and I have this continuously rasterized switch checked so that the displacement will actually look at the scale or whatever is in this main comp. So if we scale this around, you get a VHS tracking kind of effect, which used to cost a lot of money in plugins back in the day. So if you put all that together, you get something like this. And you can take something like our breakout tutorial and add other things in here to bring in other text lines. I'll leave a link for that down below too. So that's it. We can have a little bit more displacement map fun and get ourselves some 50% glitchier text. All right. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you'd like to help support what we do, check out patreon.com slash workbench. Make sure you keep up with the blog at workbench.tv. And as always, I am Joe and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.